Begin with breaking news out of Washington, D.C., where it's been a dramatic day in the Russia investigation. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort and his business associate have been indicted by a federal grand jury. Both of them surrendered this morning to federal authorities. This is all unfolding as we learn another former Trump aide pled guilty to lying to the FBI. CBS 4's Weijia Jiang has the latest on the investigation from Washington. Paul Manafort covered his face as he left his home in Virginia this morning. Mr. Manafort has no comment. The 68-year-old arrived at the FBI field office in Washington, D.C. to surrender himself to authorities. Manafort and his former business partner, Rick Gates, are facing 12 counts, including conspiracy against the United States, conspiracy to launder money, seven counts of failure to file reports of foreign bank and financial accounts, being an unregistered agent of a foreign power and making false statements. The indictment alleges Manafort and Gates hid their work as agents of the Ukrainian government and its political parties and tried to cover up millions of dollars they made from that work. It adds a, a substantial layer of complexity, I think. Just the Ukraine and the Russian connection um, could add months and months to this investigation. Manafort and Gates will be brought here to the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. later today, where they will be arraigned during their first court appearance. Special counsel Robert Mueller's office revealed Monday that George Papadopoulos, a foreign policy advisor to President Trump during the campaign, pled guilty to making false statements to the FBI. The Washington Post reported in August that Papadopoulos sent an email to Trump campaign officials in March 2016, offering to set up a meeting with Russian leadership, including President Putin. In Washington, Weijia Jiang, CBS 4 News. And President Trump did tweet Sunday suggesting the Russia investigation is meant to derail the GOP push for tax reform. However, White House counsel Ty Cobb tells CBS News the tweet was not related to the Mueller investigation, with whom the president continues to cooperate.